Hi again, uh, here we are to continue um, working on our, our Giphy Search um, uh, JavaScript uh, application, I don't know, website, right? Um, and we're almost done, right? We've, we've gotten pretty far. Um, what we need to do is we need to um, add some styles, right? And what I want to do is I want to get kind of a, a masonry layout. So I kind of did it here, but I took the code out, and so we'll put it back in. Right, but essentially, like I'll have columns, but everybody in the columns will be different height. Okay, so uh, you know, right now, it look what we have looks like this, right? Um, you know, where the images all kind of line up. But what we want to do is we want to um, we want to have them kind of you know close up these gaps, right? Okay, so this is a a uh, like a style called masonry, and in the past it always required some JavaScript, and there's some libraries that handle this. But now we've got some new CSS properties that we can use that will help us with this, right? So um, if you recall, all of our GIFs are in this results right here, right? And we have this header up here that has the search form in it. So, and then, and then we have this outer container, right? So let's add some styles. I'm gonna go to the top of my document here to the head, and I'll add the style tag. And again, we could put this in another document, but it'll be kind of easy to see these things side by side if we keep them together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a container, and I want the container to be the width of four columns. And in my case, all of the GIFs here are um, are 200 wide, right? So they're width of 200, okay? Remember, we chose that, right? So we, we told Giphy that we wanted um, images with a fixed width, and then it gave us images that were always 200, right? So uh, what we're going to do is I want to calculate the width, but, you know, I'll do a little math here, right? So I'm going to say width of this container is going to be, you know, essentially what I want to say is 200 times um, four columns, but then I want to put a space between the columns. And, you know, if I have four columns, there'll be a three gaps, you know, three lines in between them, right? We're not counting the outer edges, right? So then this would be plus three, right? You know, so let's, let's do the math here. We'll do it this way. We'll say calc right? And this is a function in CSS that lets you do some math. So we'll say calc, and each of our images is 200 pixels wide, and we have four columns, right? So it'll do the, the math here four times 200. And then what I want to do is I want to add, add a 1m column uh, or space between each column. So that'll be three m's, okay? So I got 200 times 4 plus 3 m's, right? And then to center this column, I'll say margin uh, auto. And, uh, you know, if I do that, um, if I do margin auto, it'll make, um, it'll make the, um, the margins equal on the left and right, and that puts the column in the middle. So that's pretty good, right? So now we just got to do the masonry layout. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to target um, results down here. And let me spell it right. There we go, results. And this is where all the GIFs are. And I'm going to give it this new columns property, right? When you declare something as columns, as they, um, as stuff uh, runs into the bottom, it kind of flows into another column, kind of like the, the text you see in newspapers, right? Um, so I'm going to say I want four columns, right? And then what I want to do is I want to give it a column gap. So this is the space between columns. So if I have the four columns here, and I know that they're each 200 pixels wide, and then I have three, I'll have three gaps. So I'll make each gap 1M, right? And so this, this is my 1M right there. And then these guys will be um, will be the you know this is the three M's that we get right. So let's take a quick look and refresh again. We'll search for um, what should we search for? How about uh, flowers? Right. Oh, hey, that's looking pretty good, right? So now I've got my my columns are all working out, 
it's always going to be ragged on the bottom, but we won't worry about that, right? So now, though, um, I have a, a problem in that the, the gap here at the bottom, like between each image, like vertically, is not quite right. Like I really want it the same width as what I have on the sides, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target each of the images within results and give it some margin on the bottom. I'll give it a 1M margin, okay? And uh, to make that easy, why don't we scroll down here and this is the markup for each of those images. Why don't we just throw a class name on this, right? So I'll give it a class name and we'll call it item, gif item, I don't know. We'll just call it item like this, right? And um, now down here, I can say dot item, you are all gonna have a margin uh, on the bottom of 1M, okay? And uh, let's take a look. So I'll refresh here and let's search for um, snakes, right? Hey, that looks pretty good, right? Um, I think we're doing great. So now we only need to style the, the search bar. Why don't you give that a try on your own and then maybe I'll do that in another video. Maybe I won't though. I think you guys can probably handle that, right? Or you can ask any questions you want, but uh, I think this is pretty good so far and we'll, we're able to search for anything. Let's search for cars, right? I love this guy right here. What Crazy, right? Um, this looks great too. Um, so anyway, yeah, so our, our, our search is working, uh, our masonry layout is working, and, you know, we used uh, some JavaScript. This is actually not a lot of work for us. It's like very little code to actually get all that functionality, right? And then the GIF, Giphy API is really pretty good, too. So, um, so it's really helping us. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them to the comments.